Welcome to our Thursday Gospel School. It already passed one week and it comes again the Thursday service. We are going to worship God here. We are going to be in the presence of God. Let's greet to each other. You made a great choice to be in this worship service. We are going to worship Him and let's look upon God throughout my life. There are two times that my appearance has been greatly changed. I used to grow my hair below my eyebrow and then I cut my hair above the eyebrow. And many people gave me different feedbacks about my new haircut. It was also a very big change to me. However, after for a while, I got used to my new appearance. The second big change was the second big change is wearing glasses. This is pretty recent event. It only passed about six months. It was about when I started the healing school, and the people who attended the service, when they just first saw me, they thought that I used to wear the glasses, and I soon get used to my new appearance with my glasses. The reason why I'm talking about this is when we live throughout the week, we are having difficult times, and sometimes we are having a good times. So we reflect our God in our past experience, whether it is good or bad. So we can use to think about God throughout our life experience. If our service is alive, where does the power come from? So the real power of service is break down our image of God through, which was reflected throughout our experience. And this service can be alive if we break down the image of God that we had. If this service is alive, and the worth of, of this service we praise the song to the God, the power comes from to break down the image of God that we had and be awakened by looking at the glorious of our God. It is the purpose of this service today. I would like to challenge you. Whatever life or experience you had throughout the week, God is good. Do you believe this? Whatever life you had for last for the past week, God loves you so much. Do you believe this? Let's confess together. Our God is. Our God loves me so much. So much that I cannot even imagine. God loves me. God likes me so much. God wants to build us. God wants to heal us. God is smiling at us. Let's pray together. The Lord, there was, there was a time that it seems like there is a fog in my life. That God, sometimes we felt that God is not good to us. 
However, today I would like to come into the presence of God, and I just want to truly believe that God loves me so much. And let us to see your face. Dear Lord, please pour out the Holy Spirit to us. Let's come into the presence of God. Let's pray together.
하나님의 손을 나갈 수 있도록 기름을 부어주시옵소서 우리 다같이 기도하겠습니다 오 하나님 우리가 부르실 하나님의 영광과 능력을 말할 수 있도록 기름 부어주시고 하나님의 영광과 자유와 영광과 신뢰를 우리 가운데 부어주시기를 원합니다 높이 높이 오 하나님 이 모든 일들 가운데 임하시고 We look upon the light of the Lord. Although the path that I walked was in the darkness and helpless, please pour out your grace that we can come into the presence of the Lord. Please receive our praise today. Even though our praise is not perfect, we just give it to the throne of God. Please receive our service and please be glorified through our worship. Now we're going to listen to the words of God. Please give us your words of God and open our ears and our soul. Our soul can be alive. Please give us the life. Please guide us so that we can walk into the light. Going to give you the glory again, and we praise in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome, everyone. It is the first lecture of the Gospel School. I bless everyone in the name of Jesus. Gospel is the good news. It is the good news to everyone. I hope the senses will be awakened that the Gospel is a true blessing, true good news to everyone. Let's proclaim together that gospel is the good news. 네, 우리 영상으로 보시는 분들 어떨지 모르겠는데 현장에 계신 분들은 Let's proclaiming together that gospel is the blessing. 복음은 gospel is the blessing. 시작. 네, 여러분, 우리가 이세 번의 시간을 통해서 three lectures we talked about different things. Jesus gave us everything. He wants to save us. And last week, God guided us to the different ways. Sometimes we need to 
give up, and sometimes we need to challenge us. Today, we're going to talk about fellowship about Have you ever heard about the fellowship of God? I want to talk about the fellowship with God today. God is not with us. We cannot see Him. When we talk about we have a fellowship with someone, it seems different from the fellowship with God. We met Jesus, and after we met Jesus, we're not living without Him. Instead, we're having fellowship with Jesus. We're having a good time with Him and be with Him. How come this happens? Let's read Bible together. John chapter 1st, chapter 1st, verse 5. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to him that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus his son cleanses us from all sin. In summary, God is light. So the fellowship with him means that we stay in the light. In other words, the fellowship with God means that we walk in the light. However, it is not the easy concept. So let's think about the easier way. The fellowship with God is walk in the light. Let's think about it more and let's read the following statement together that walk in the light is to see everything through the light of Jesus. Now we can draw a conclusion that we are going to encounter so many events, so many different situations. When we encounter those events, before we know the Jesus, we have some ideas on different events. However, now we see the situation and the event through the light of Jesus, and we also see ourselves through the light of God, and also see the people through the light of God. So the fellowship with God and fellowship with Jesus, and God is always with us. God is here and God is there. Wherever we go, God is always with us. However, it can be vague since we cannot see God. However, the truth and light is always be with us. It is alive. So that is the fellowship of God. So the walk in light means that see the event, all the events in our lives through the light of God. So after we see the events through the light of God, and then we can confess to the Jesus. 
Please repeat after me. Oh, so you just know, I understand. So after we walk in light, we can see the things that we cannot see before. And then we can talk to Jesus. Now I understand through the light of God. So this time sense, situations means the fellowship with God. So believing Jesus and the Christianity can be very simplified when time passes. So the religion, the Christianity can be the religion If we just ask something in our hardship, so this time, these kind of times are so necessary. However, all the prayers that we prayed are not, it seems not answered every time. We prayed so hard and we did all, we did good things so that we, our prayers can be answered. And after a while, we question ourselves that is God really alive and is He listening to my prayers? And we get disappointed of Him. However, the Bible talks differentially. If you look at the life of disciples and God, Jesus, Jesus didn't really show the miracle throughout the disciples' lives. One time, Jesus healed the Peter's mother-in-law. However, Jesus, Jesus didn't fellowship with disciples just by showing the miracles. So many times we misunderstood the fellowship with God. Most of the time, we just ask our needs throughout our prayers, and it seems like God doesn't answer to our prayers and we get disappointed. So it is not like asking our something from our, out of our needs. Instead, we need to walk in the light. So let's think more about it. There are two important words. And these two words are shown many times throughout the schools and it's the fundamental concepts of our schools. Let's read these words together. It's a victory and humbleness. Let's erase one word from our mind. We need to erase the success in my, in my mind. Everybody pursue the success in our lives. Do you want to be successful? However, we need to forget about it and lose the concept of the success. And you need to keep in mind that the Bible never talks about success. Instead of success, we need to focus on the victory and humbleness. Success seems one-dimensional. Plus, there is a man. He starts working, and one year, three years, and five years are passed. And there is a difference among the people 
that one person's salary is higher than others and another person's position is higher than others, the gap becomes enlarged. And then people all of a sudden that the person is successful. The others don't say that you're not successful, but people talk about the success all the time in this world. And we always want to be successful, to be famous, and have a lot of money. However, the concept of success is not what God likes. That is why it is not written in the Bible. So if you are pursuing only success in this life, that is not the life God wants us to live. So instead of success, we need to pursue the victory. So the victory can be seen when we only walk in light. Suppose that I am fighting with someone. Last week in my church, last week was the second week of August. A guy from our church gave an announcement and suppose that I am fighting with the big guy and I cannot win the fight with him because he is much bigger than I. So that we are on the ring and fight each other, we hit each other. I fell down and I was bleeding. And in that time, if we just see the scene, who is the winner? The one who made me to bleed. We just talk, we just treat him as the winner. So our fight in this world is like that. So we cannot understand the victory was written in the Bible. The Bible talks about the victory in a different way. In Bible, the victory should be seen through the perspective of Jesus. Suppose that I go on the ring and I'm just fighting with the big guy. And I'm looking at his face, which is much larger than my head, and I'm going to get very afraid of it. And then God comes to my mind and God speaks to me. And God told me that please don't hit him. Just, so then if I just listen that word from God, I will be so shocked because I, can, I just think that I cannot even hit him. However, I just go on the ring with the words of God in my mind. So I cannot even hit him. I just should be bitten by him. 
So when I just hit the guy and then make him to bleed, and the word, the word will treat me like a winner. However, in the, pers- the perspective of Jesus, I am the loser because I didn't follow the words of God. Because the God told me and instructed me to be beaten by Him. But if I hit the guy, hit the guy, then I can be the winner in the perspective of the word. However, if I see myself through the perspective of the fellowship with God, I am the loser. So if I want to be the winner in the perspective of God, I should be beaten even though I can hit the guy. And in that situation, the word will tell me that I am the loser and I was bleeding on the ring. However, in the perspective of God, God will tell me that you are the winner. So the fellowship with God, we need to lose success. Instead, we need to take the victory. If we just pursue the success, we cannot do the fellowship with God. So if I was beaten, the word will point me and say that I am the loser. However, the face of Jesus will be appeared and then say and talk to me that you are the winner. So victory is yours. Then I can talk to Jesus. The word is dark. All the sounds from the words doesn't matter anymore. So it will be like the spotlight will be on me and I will confess to Jesus that it was so hard to get the victory. However, I tried to follow your words and finally save the victory. That is the fellowship with God. So we have to repeatedly remember the value of victory and God wants to walk the way with us and have fellowship with us. Israelites in the Old Testament also want to be successful in their lives. However, whenever they want to be successful, they always failed. However, when they pursue the victory, they always be successful. Even though there is no concept of success in the Bible, whenever they pursue the victory, the Israelites were also successful in the perspective of the word. So God guides us to the way of the path of victory. Jesus also got the victory on the cross. People nailed Jesus on the cross. The spear so pierced through his body. And he also heard the throne of thorns. The Jesus was humiliated on the cross. 
So if you just think about the success in the worldly perspective, the Jesus should act like the superhero to overcome the cross. However, Jesus didn't do any successful act in the worldly perspective. Why? Because Jesus was just following the words of God because God instructed him to be killed like a lamb. However, Jesus showed the greatest victory on the cross. He saved us on the cross. Repeat after me. The victory is the riches of Jesus Christ will come true in my life. That is the victory. There is another word, is the humbleness. When we heard about the humbleness, we had a different concept. In our culture, when we talked about the humbleness, we think about the self-denier, and which was with concept was based on the Confucianism. Suppose that a person asks us to be on the position, and if that is desirable in the eyes of others. We should not accept it in the first place. And then in our, because in our culture, if we just accept that offer immediately, people will think that we are not humble. Suppose that we pray together and a person next to me says that your voice is so amazing. I thought that you are a professional singer. Then we have to deny ourselves at least three times that no, I'm not a good singer. You must be heard someone else. My voice is not that great. So we, in our culture, we need to deny ourselves at least for three times. So the Confucianism. Is so prevalent in our culture and Chinese and Vietnamese culture. So the concept of humbleness in under the Confucianism differs from the humbleness in the Bible. So we need to. Think and have a different concept of the humbleness. Humbleness means the lowering ourselves in front of the words of God. That is what God wants us from us. That is, we need to surrender in the perspective and the words of God. So let's suppose that in the morning we see ourselves on the mirror, and our skin is not healthy and seems not great for the makeup. And when we see ourselves in mirror, we don't like our appearance. And we, and I just think myself is really bad, and I cannot really like my appearance. And that time, and Jesus talks to me. You are so worthy. You are so perfect. You're flawless, and you're so great. And can you believe that? If our life looks so successful and looks so great, 
And when Jesus talks to me like that, we might be, might agree with the statements of Jesus. However, when I see myself as a loser, and Jesus talks to me all the good things about me, and it's so hard to believe it. And if we cannot believe the good words from Jesus in that situation, that means that we are under, we are not under control of the words of God. We are not under the control of the words of God. So the humbleness is to believe the words of God. Even though our situations are not reflected the successful in the worldly perspective, so we cannot be humble only under the words of God. Just believe and trust the words of God regardless of our situations. So we can confess to the God, I don't have anything goodness and I don't have any capacity or ability to do this task, but if God tells me that you are, I am great and I am good, I believe in your words. So the fellowship with God is talking about the victory and humbleness. And that is the walking in light. In the worldly perspective, we cannot believe any of the statement. However, when we look at our lives with the words of God, we had an, had an understanding of the victory and the humbleness. Now we can reflect our lives in the light of Jesus and accept that our life and I am really good and nice and I'm having the victorious life. And when we walk through the path that is the walking in light, so in the Bible it's said that if we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness we lie and do not practice the truth so we, have, we need to talk about the victory and humbleness Many times, Jesus loves us so much. Jesus likes us so much. So what do you think that how Jesus looks the human ability? In the eyes of Jesus, all the people, all the ranks of the people, even the beggars or the kings, in the eyes of God, they are all the same. Jesus doesn't treat the king as higher than the beggar. And Jesus doesn't See our, and Jesus doesn't make a rank of the people according to our abilities. So, why don't we trust Jesus? And there is the word that prevents us from 
prevents us to be in the fellowship with God is that perfection. All the people want s to be perfect. And this perfection makes us too hard to be in the fellowship with God. We want us to be be the perfect. The perfection is the flawless. Have you ever seen anyone to be perfect or is there anyone that is anyone believes that I'm perfect? Because everybody is, has a flaw. It, it, may, it might be possible that if you have a lot of money and then you, for, you may not know that you don't have a good character. It might, we might be deceived that our selves, however, the people around us knows that and everybody wants to be the perfect. It is still a natural desire for the people that all the people wants to be the flawless and in terms of the physical, mental and spiritually we all wants to be perfect. However, this desire, if we don't see this desire in the light of Jesus, we cannot do the fellowship with God. Because we think ourselves that Jesus may not like us if we are not perfect. Jesus loves us, likes us so much that He talks to talks to us that you are beautiful, you are perfect. However, we trust we don't trust it because we know that we are not perfect, and we just think ourselves that Jesus may not like us because we are not perfect. It is so also hard to accept that. Even though the Jesus tells us that this is the victory, if the victory doesn't seem to be perfect in our eyes, we cannot believe it. So we need to have the different. We need to change our perception and concept of the perfection. There is nothing perfect in this world. Everything changes in this world. There is no absolute value in this world. There is only one existence. Perfect existence is God. Nothing is perfect. So when God sees us, He doesn't blame us that we are not perfect. God really wants us to be perfect. However, we cannot try hard, and we cannot just be our. We cannot be perfect. By ourselves. And we can only be perfect when we are when we stay in God. That is God's intention, and God created us imperfect. And God wants us to be perfect. God created us as an imperfect existence because God wants to be with us, and then God wants us to make us to be perfect. So let's think about in the mathematical formula that God's perfection is. 
Me plus God. 근데 하나, 근데 여러분 하나님이 우리와 함께 하기를 원하세요. 우리 우리와 함께 하기를 원하세요. 그 number can be 원하시냐면은 그분이 우리와 여금 우리를 세상의 관점에서 볼 때는 완벽하지 않게 만들었어요. 근데 하나님의 눈으로 볼 때는 세상에서 볼때 완벽하지 않은 게 완벽이에요. 이게 이해가 되세요? 하나님이 볼때 완벽한 것만 하나님이 우리랑 같이 있고 싶어 하니까 여러분들이 누군가랑 같이 있고 싶어요. However, 누군가랑 같이 있고 싶어요. 나랑 있을 생각이 없어요. 나랑 필요로 하질 않아요. There is only one way the number can be infinity. Even though the one number is just a one, it can be infinity if it is added by infinity. In other words, in other words, one plus infinity is infinity. So one number cannot be infinity. If the number is, even though the another another number is so large, it cannot be infinity. It can be only infinity when the number can be added by the infinity. So the infinity is God, and God wants to be with us, and God created us. To be not to be perfect. In the God's perspective, we are perfect when we are not perfect because God wants to be with us and make us to be perfect. Think about it that you want to be someone and wants to make the person to be whole. 이 복음이 뭐라고 말해주냐면 이렇게 말해주는 거예요. 사람들이요 예수를 믿고 더 이상 so we can be only perfect when we 없다. live and when we stay with God. 너희들이요 완벽하지 않은 너희들이요 예수가 왔는데 그 예수가 완벽한 존재요 너를 완전히 사랑하는 존재. So in the, perspe- in the God's perspective, we should have the space, space, space for God, which means that we are imperfect. However, in the, pers- in the God's perspective, we are perfect when we have the space for God. However, the, per- the concept of perfection so much differs from the God's perfection, so we wasted so much of our times. Let's just look at the lives and the people. Everybody is trying so hard to be the perfect. That is the purpose of their lives. However, the gospel comes in our lives. Why? Gospel is the good news. People must believe in Jesus and you don't need to live to be the perfect, the imperfect of our... So the Jesus loves us and if we just believe in Jesus and receive Him in our lives, our imperfection becomes to be perfect when we walk in light. When we have fellowship with God, that is why gospel is the good news. And I want to talk about the last concept. So the thing that we need to do So we need to break down the perfection and receive the victory and humbleness and living the fel- as a walk in the fellowship with God. You don't need to be perfect. And we just accept that we are not perfect. And there is only one thing left. 
When Jesus came to this world, Jesus looked at the people and so when the Jesus comes to our lives and see, He doesn't rank the people according to their abilities. Jesus just doesn't rank the people according to their abilities and he doesn't so our abilities doesn't really matter in the eyes of Jesus. So we have to remember that we don't need to be perfect and we only need to accept the acceptory perfection. So our ability is not important in the eyes of Jesus. And it's not important that how our position is how high it is. However, there is a one difference. However, there is a one big difference. The lowness of our position really matters in the perspective of Jesus. In the eyes of Jesus, even king or beggars, doctors, judges, all the abilities just the same. Same in the eyes of the Jesus, however, the lowness of our position really matters. In fact, we are all hopeless, we are all sinners. That is why we believe in Jesus, because the salvation cannot be achieved by our abilities. So everybody is are all sinners. However, the confession of our confession makes a difference. So when we think of ourselves as the existence that we really need Jesus, because we are very low and we are not perfect. Jesus cannot stay with the person who has a high mind. So we should have the low mind. We should be. We should accept that our. We should accept that we are imperfect. We are so hopeless. So how much we perceive ourselves as hopeless or helpless existence that we cannot live, we cannot just live by our by ourselves. Why is Jesus stayed with the lowly people when Jesus was in this world? Why Jesus hang around with the sinners? Not because they are the most terrible sinners. There is only one difference. Because they knew that they were sinners and they need Jesus. They knew that they were imperfect and they need Jesus to be saved. So that means that, in other words, they have the space for the Jesus. So in the eyes of Jesus, the sinners are the perfect people because they have the space for Jesus. However, the righteous people, they don't have the space for the Jesus. So in the perspective of Jesus, they were not perfect. That is the gospel. So even though you think that you believe in Jesus, and you cannot still just hold the concept of perfection and you just want to be successful and be perfect in this world. You don't have the space for Jesus. And so you have 
to remember that Jesus wants. Jesus can be only with the lowly mind, people with the lowly mind. So we always look for the lower place, and Jesus told us that Jesus stayed in the lowly place. We have to. And Jesus, we have to be in the lowly place. We cannot have the fellowship with Jesus. We we ask to God that we wants to be wealthy and we wants to more money and that kind of prayer. Jesus cannot really communicate with us because our perspectives are so different, and we just walk in the parallel way. So you need to go lowly place and seek God and accept that we are imperfect. And we need to listen to the words of God, and we need to hear the words of God. And we are so valuable, and we are so beautiful. Please repeat after me: I am beautiful, and I am precious. In the lowly place, and in in the lowly place. We can see our life in the light of Jesus, and that is the fellowship with God. Uh, we also see the other people's lives through the light of Jesus. Whenever we have the fellowship with other people. We just rank ourselves, and then if we just meet the better ability, the person with the better ability, we just become shy, and we meet the people who seem to be have the lower ability. We just treat them unworthy. And we just complain a lot. And when we just complain about anything, that we can just deceive ourselves that we are better than others by just complaining everything. And we just, however, when we see the people in the light of Jesus, and we just have the humbleness in our mind, and we can have the mind of. Jesus, that can just treat the people as precious and beautiful. We can just wear the words of God and see the other people as precious and beautiful as we are. So that is how we can stay. In the light and walk in the light, and that way we can stay in the truth. So the words of God falls into our minds, and then we should have the fellowship with God in order to walk with God. 
이 예수님과 사귄 거를 알지 못하면은요 한 가지 응답밖에 모르는 거예요. Many times we complain to God why. Those annoying people are around us, and sometimes we pray that please get rid of those hard people around in my in our lives. However, the true answer of the prayer is our perspective has been changed. That there is no one that we. Hate in this world that our perspective and our mind have been changed in the light of Jesus. That everybody can be seen as precious and beautiful. Even though I'm poor, God, we just look our lives in the light of Jesus. That. We realize that we are so wealthy in Jesus, and even though the circumstance, nothing has been changed in our lives. Our perspective has can be changed when we look our lives in the light of Jesus. So this can be happen only through the fellowship with God. So we need we have to. Believe and study the words of God. However, we also need to. The fellowship with God, and being aware of that everybody is imperfect, and we need to accept that in the lowly place that we are not perfect. And just pursue the fellowship with God. We don't need to be perfect because. Our God is perfect. We don't need to be stressed out that we are not perfect, because God intended to create us to be perfect without His presence. We can be only perfect in when we walk in light, when we stay in the light. So it's okay that when the word, when other people blame us, that you are imperfect. However, it is just fine that God doesn't ask us to be perfect and just listen to the words of God and accept with the humble mind that God is telling us right now that we. You are precious and you are beautiful. I am inviting everyone. I'm inviting everyone to the lowly place, and I also invite you to be the fellowship with God. God is not the zini. God wants. Us the fellowship with us. So when we come into the presence of God, and He's gonna change our perspective and all the darkness in our lives will turn to be full of light. 완벽할 필요가 없는 우리를 받아들여. When we walk in light, and we can be only perfect in when we walk in light. Let's praise the Lord together. Jesus, our eyes are open. Jesus. 우리들의 밝은 빛 은혜와 긍휼을 베푸시는 주 
주의 길을 걸어가는 주의 길을 걸어가는 주의 자녀들에게 항상 밝은 빛을 비추시 그는 우리를 구원해 주시는 분이십니다 그는 구원해 주 하나님 공의로 공의로 세상을 다스리시네 아멘 주를 경외하는 자들에게 부어주시네 놀라운 놀라운 주님의 아멘 하늘에서 
마지막 날에 주님 오셨을 때 예수님이 이 시각으로 모든 것을 심판하실 것입니다 우리가 그 빛을 사모하죠 주님 그러기 위해서 내가 추구하는 완벽함을 버리기로 결정합니다 주의 빛을 사모하기로 결정합니다 주와 같이 이 빛으로 걸어가기를 원합니다 오늘 내가 주님과 사귀어 살고 빛에 거하고 진리에 거하는 이 진리를 오늘 나에게 부어받고 오게 하여 달라고 우리가 이 소망을 주님께 올려드리죠 다같이 기도하겠습니다 말씀하셨어요. 참 소경이 누구인가 진짜 소경이 누구인가 앞을 못 보는 사람이 소경인가 아니다 빛이 왔는데 빛으로 세상을 볼지 모르는 게 소경이다 안진뱅이가 누구인가 걷지 못하는 자가 안진뱅이가 아니다 예수님이 왔는데 예수님이 왔는데 예수님께 나올 줄 모르는 것이 안진뱅이다 예수님이 오늘 우리에게 우리의 삶에 말씀하세요 더 이상 완벽한 존재가 되려고 하지 말고 완벽한 나와 함께 빛으로 걸어가자 그 삶이 얼마나 무한대로 힘들고 무한대로 조지받은 것 같은 인생이 왜 너는 나를 만났는데 너의 삶의 목표는 똑같고 너의 삶의 걸음은 똑같고 너가 보는 것은 왜 똑같이 걸어가 그 어렵고 힘든 길을 멈추고 자유의 길로 와라 너는 아름답고 존귀한 자다 너는 죄인이고 불완전한 자다 그래서 완전한 자고 너가 공허하고 너는, 너는 완벽하지 않아서 그래서 너는 나에게 완벽하다 이 깊은 진리를 누리며 나와 함께 어깨에 짐을 벗어버리고 자유의 길을 걸어가자 오늘 우리 주님의 조청에 하나님 너가 완벽하지 않아도 된다라고 하는 이 조청이 나에게 진짜 복이 되도록 깨닫게 하시고 그 길을 걸어가게 하셔서 소경도 아니요 안진뱅이도 아닌 삶을 살아갈 수 있도록 해달라고 우리 다 같이 주님께 기도하겠습니다 어 하나님 우리의 눈을 열어주시옵소서 우리의 귀를 열어주시옵소서 우리의 입을 열어주시옵소서 우리의 마음을 열어주시옵소서 우리로 걷게 하여 주십시오 이 땅을 
살아가는 빛을 사모하게 하소서 빛을 사모하게 하소서 승리의 노래를 부르라 겸손의 노래를 부르라 승리의 노래를 부르라 겸손의 노래를 부르라 하지만 좀더 기도하면서 격려하고 싶은 것은 여러분 우리가 이 빛과 교제하는 삶을 살면서 걸어가다가 때로는 우리에게 너무 강한 충격과 아픔과 또 내가 상상하지 못했던 일을 만나게 될 때에 때로는 우리는 이 빛을 잃어버리고 납니다 그러면 내가 너무 처참한 거예요 내가 너무 처참한 거예요 다시 세상의 완벽으로 세상을 보기 시작하고 세상의 겸손으로 세상을 보기 시작할 때 나는 너무 초라한 거예요 이 삶이 무엇인가 이 삶은 실패한 것 아닌가 이순이가 교제하며 살았던 이 삶들이 너무 허망한 것 아닌가 길을 잃어버리고 빛을 잃어버리고 때로는 진리를 잃어버릴 만큼 그런 아픔의 시간들을 겪었기에 오늘날 이 깊은 우울함과 절망감 가운데 놓여있는 때로는 빛을 잃어버린 상황 가운데 있는 분들을 제가 만나고 납니다 또 때로는 제가 그런, 그런 순간을 맞이하기도 합니다 여러분 이 시간에 그런 삶을 살던 분들이 있다면 은 다시 한번 제가 오늘 이 세상의 가치관과 세상의 이 빛이 없는, 없으나 빛이 있는 것처럼 이렇게 밝게 비치는 그 세상 안에서 제가 예수님의 마음을 대신해서 여러분 초청하는 것은 여러분 다시 빛 가운데 들어가시기를 바랍니다 다시 우리가 함께 빛 가운데로 들어가시기를 초청합니다 우리가 오늘은 후회할, 후회할지라도 마지막 날 주님 앞에서는 이 시간을 후회하지 않을 것입니다 이것이 진리입니다 다시 한번 주님의 손을 붙잡고 다시 한번 더 빛을 초청하고 그래 나는 주님 안에서 아름다운 자야 다시 한번 주섬주섬 이 영의 옷을 입고 돌아가 보시기를 바랍니다 여러분 우리가 그 시간들을 열어놓고 주님 안에 함께 들어가서 더 깊은 자유를 누리기를 초청합니다 특별히 여러분들이 이 시간을 보내고 있는 분들을 좀 중보해 주시고 또 여러분 내가 그런 시간을 보내고 있다면 은 주님 나라에 그 시간을 살수 있도록 인도해달라고 주님께 나가서 기도하죠 다 같이 기도하겠습니다 
Dear God, now I understand that you are light. Dear God, we only treat God as like a genie that we want to be successful. And we become so tired because we pursue the success. Oh Lord, please help us to stop pursuing the success and lead us to the fellowship with God. We have to think. We have to think that we need to follow the light and truth. We are never going to regret of our choice. Even though the world blame us or throw the stones us, that we are not going to regret it. Because the fellowship with God is so precious and uh, we believe in the gospel. Dear God, we pray and we hope that please help us to walk in light forever. Please help us to have the fellowship with God. Help us to stay in the truth and light. The Lord Paul followed Jesus. He was so successful in the world. However, he gave up everything and walked in light until the end. Dear God, you invite us, invited us to have the fellowship with God. Please help us to believe the gospel and the light of Jesus before in this world. Please use us. Please use us to fill this world with the light of Jesus. Dear God, you are speaking to us that we don't need to be perfect. We can be only perfect when we stay in the truth and walk in light. With the grace of God and amazing love of God, and the fellowship with the Holy Spirit, and you're inviting us into the perfection of God that we can be only in the infinity in the Lord in the God and you're inviting us to 
the pathway to the perfection. Please pour out the Holy Spirit to the all the people who in, in the worship with us today.